We come now to the Digital Media Award sponsored by Google. Now this award recognizes innovation in websites, interactive documentaries, online features, as well as other digital technologies that encourage understanding of and engagement with the developing world. Let's see the nominees. Made up to look beautiful, sent out to die, BBC. This interactive website tells the incredible story of Felmata, a young woman who was forced to become a suicide bomber at the age of 13 by Boko Haram. The site brings Felmata's compelling story to life, using animation, photography and informational graphics to explore how young girls in northern Nigeria are being abducted to carry out life-threatening missions for one of the world's most dangerous militant groups. Mothers and Children First, Al Jazeera English. This project uses an interactive storytelling approach to explore Bolivia's critically high maternal mortality rate, a plague in which indigenous women who are afraid of university-educated westernised doctors are most affected. But Mothers and Children First shows that there might be a solution, an intercultural healthcare system pairing traditional midwives with westernised doctors. Mixing data and video journalism, graphic design, animations, pictures and text, the creators put together an in-depth multimedia story on maternal mortality, gender issues and indigenous people, offering new angles on a global problem. The Politics of Death, Thomson Reuters Foundation. This multimedia piece offers insight into the global phenomenon of growing violence against activists and experts at the centre of disputes over land. The long read feature and analysis is illustrated by clips ranging from drone and archival TV footage to audio and stills and the documentary providing an immersive and engaging news experience. Using stories and videos from seven countries, it spells out how the blurring of responsibilities between the state and corporate sector has contributed to the attacks and murders of hundreds of people each year, with at least four men or women vanishing without trace or found dead every week. And to present the award, please welcome Google's Head of News Partnerships for the UK, Ireland and Benelux, Benedict Otre. Good evening. At Google, we are very proud to support the One World Media Digital Award. Um, and I'm going to use the words of our CEO, Sandar Pichai, to illustrate why. He says, Google cares deeply about journalism. We believe in spreading knowledge to make life better for everyone. It's at the heart of Google's mission. It's the missions of journalists, publishers, and journalists. Put simply, our futures are tied together. With that in mind, it's natural to support an organization that promotes balance and quality coverage in developing countries. It goes without saying that the three nominees of this award fulfill that mission, but they have also embraced the amazing capabilities that digital provides, making their storytelling very engaging and accessible. So it is now my pleasure to announce the winner of the Digital Media Award, Made Up to Look Beautiful, Sent Out to Die. Um, thank you very much for the award. Um, thank you to Stephanie, who worked with us on this, and Kara Bubakar, who's in Nigeria as well. Um, about the story, uh, we just found it. It was extraordinary to find someone who was 13 years old who was forced to be a suicide bomber, not once, but twice. And she, in very simple terms, just said, I just didn't want to do it. And that's her story that we've just presented to you there. Um, I think it was... It's just an extraordinary story that w was worth telling, and it was just amazing that it was not only told in English and on in the BBC News website, but in at least 15 different languages across Africa and the world, which just made us really proud of that. It didn't just reach an English-speaking audience, but also 
most people around the world, from Spanish, Swahili, Hausa, Kigali, whatever. I mean, so many languages. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs>